Now, speaking of colonialism, <laughs> <laughs> I like that segue. I'm Segway King. Segway, Segway God, right over here. <laughs> I I appreciate you as an artist and as a humanitarian, as a human being, because I imagine it's, it it can be difficult, because you are someone who is righteously speaks out against the disgusting, violent, terrible anti-Semitism that comes from all facets of our society. Sure. But you also are humanitarian enough to speak on behalf of Palestinians who are being sure. uh, being treated like second-class citizens. And uh, do you get any pushback as a Jewish person because of this? No, everybody's cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's cool with it until they find your email address. Right. Uh, right. Of course. Mm -hmm. You know, again, it's... And, and there are a lot of reasons for that. But mm -hmm. one, one of them is that as a Jewish person, you are saddled with the idea that you are not a, a citizen of America mm -hmm. or a citizen of the world. Mm -hmm. You are a citizen of Israel. Mm -hmm. And you must back their actions or the actions of... And, and one has nothing to do with the other. And one has nothing to do with being Jewish or not being Jewish or whatever it is that people choose uh, on their religion or on their history or, or on their background, mm -hmm. it has to do with in the way that I view governments that don't act on, on behalf of, or, or that, you know, what has happened in that part of the world is, is tragic. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I think the biggest problem is it's to nobody's benefit, mm -hmm. but the Palestinian people that it get resolved. Right. It's not to the benefit of the Israeli government. They use the Palestinian issue as a cudgel mm -hmm. and they continue to build settlements and whatever it is that they want to do. And no one's suggesting that like terror attacks are okay. And that's a, a good thing. Mm -hmm. But if you're held to that standard that you don't get your state until nobody tries to kill anybody else, well, then you're never going to get your state. It's not to the benefit of the other Arab leaders in the region because their people can be mistreated in the same way by their autocracies. Mm -hmm. So why do they want to fix the Palestinian situation when they can use Israel as an easy code to get their people in line? Mm -hmm. Don't look at us, look at Israel. Right, right. We're fucking with you. Look how they fuck with the Palestinians. It's not to the United States benefit because we have an ally in the region mm -hmm. that's a lot more complicated for us than in other ways because they rely on our military aid and all kinds of other things. Yes, indeed. So if it's not in anybody's interest in the powers of status quo, what chance do they have? It's a very efficient way of looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's exactly what it is. But what chance? Yeah. And it's not really to Hamas's benefit mm -hmm. and it's not to Fatah's benefit because then they lose their grip on power. So that's the right. only people who always lose are the day in day out Palestinian people. Yeah. Because it's to no one's benefit to help them, but them. Yes, indeed. And and so not recognizing that is to be blind to any dynamic. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't negate how I feel about anti-Semitism. Of course. And anti-Semitism -Sem is not the same as Zionism. That's right. It's not the same as any of it. But boy, don't have that conversation right. with people. <laughs> What we don't start it. Look at what we don't start it. This the people party. When opportunity knock it, then young nigga move that dope. Get your foot stuck in it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow roll with it. What's the world?